what shall I do? For I have nowhere to store my crops. And he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, So you have ample goods laid up for many years. Take your ease, eat, drink, be merry. And God said to him, Fool, this night your soul is required of you, and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So is he who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. As he said this, Jesus called out, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. When you die, what will you leave as an inheritance to your children or the rest of your family? What will you leave? A house? A decent bank balance? A pension pot? A car? safety deposit box which nobody knows about but you've been saving it for years. What will you leave? In this parable, Jesus talks about laying up treasure, not on earth, but in heaven. How then do we lay up treasure in heaven? How? Let me tell you. It's quite simple. When you come to church and offer your prayers to God, that's like putting a £50 note in heaven for yourself. When you pray tomorrow at home, it's another 50p in your treasure trove in heaven. When you get angry with somebody, it's all gone. When you apologise to somebody and you forgive somebody, that again is more treasure being built up in heaven. When we do good to somebody for no apparent reason other than that they need something, that also is laying up for yourself treasure in heaven. Don't worry, like the farmers, over having to pay enormous death duties on your million pound farm. Don't worry about it. It's of no consequence. When you teach your children to love God, that is laying up for yourselves treasure in heaven. What is the most important thing you can give to your children? God. Love for God. A life given to God. A life of prayer. A life of fasting. A life of meditating on the Holy Scriptures and speaking to God. These are the things which we should leave to our children. Don't worry about whether they can have enough to eat. They will. Don't worry about the things of this world. Because try as you might, they don't last.
When I moved to the Black Country to my first Anglican parish in 1973, I learned a magnificent Black Country saying. The first funeral that I did, they were talking about what the person had in the house. They were talking about what he was leaving behind. And the wonderful backcountry saying was, there are no pockets in a shroud. Put into English, there are no pockets in a shroud. In other words, you can't take it with you. No matter how much you have managed to save and amass, you cannot take it with you. The first Orthodox funeral that I did for a Greek lady in Aya Marina parish, I thought perhaps the black country had got it wrong. Because in the coffin, open of course, her family and friends put in a teddy bear, a bottle of whiskey, a complete set of boots, cosmetics, flowers, all sorts of things. I thought, oh, she's taking it all with me. <coughs> then they put on the lid. We take nothing with us that is of material use. What we take with us is a treasure that we have laid up for ourselves in heaven. Our love for God. Our devotion to Him. Our <coughs> spiritual provision for our children and for our neighbours. These things we take with us not in the shroud, but in our hearts. Because we love God, that is what survives as our treasure in heaven. In the name of the Father, 